Hey, what is good everybody? Adam here. And today I wanted to share with you guys a tip for um, creating animated fire and water effects um, in, um, we're gonna be using D5 render, but this would work also for Enscape, uh, Twin Motion. I, actually, I don't know if Twin Motion accepts animated textures or not. Um, I know Lumion does. However, Lumion has um, some really nice fire objects and some waterfall materials and waterfall objects. So it's not really as relevant, but for D5 and Enscape currently, there is no way to do animated fire and water. So I came up with this workaround. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm not gonna make you guys wait to get to the end of the video. I'm just gonna show you straight away how I did it. And then I'm gonna break down some, some pointers when doing this and some things that I found out after doing it a few times. Um, you know, I really, I, it was this project in particular that I think I ended up having like nine different fire features in here. And I really wanted to use D5. Um, however, having no animated fire made it a really hard option. So I came up with this workaround and super, super easy to do. The only expense really is time. So the big downside, the big con to it all is that you have to render your animation twice, but that's it. After that, it's super simple. Um, you basically render your animation once with your fire and water effects and once without. So basically the one without is going to be the base layer in your editing program. And the one with it, you're going to essentially change the blend mode to allow the base layer to shine through. So it's a super simple concept. Um, I have another project here that I'm working on and see what this looks like. So here's our base layer. And then here's with the upper layer. But if I change my blend mode back to normal, you can see the difference. So as soon as we change the blend mode here to lighten, the black disappears. And what shines through is the base layer. The base layer is the other clip that we rendered without um, any fire or water. So we just have the clean stone or whatever background we have that underneath. And then all we have to do as long as they match up is put one on top of the other and change the blend mode. So um, there's your super simple way to do it. Again, the only expense really is time. So um, there's the gist of the video. But for anybody who wants to hang around, I'm going to go through some of the pointers that I've learned when doing this a few times. Um, the first thing is, at least in D5, I'm not sure about Enscape, just be mindful that um, there is, it doesn't recognize the back sided material. So if you're working in SketchUp, and you basically had a wall like this where I had fire across the top of this wall and I was going to shoot it from this side as well. It would not recognize the animated texture that's right here. It would it would come across as invisible from this side. So the way to remedy that is to create another billboard and flip it around. And now basically you have to map the fire onto both sides so that you can see it from both directions. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, so how did I create the fire and the water textures, the animated textures? So I did that in Premiere. Um, basically, here's the texture that I came up with for the water wall, for the long sheer de descent waterfall. Um, I saved out two different versions of this one here with the black background and then i also did one with the wall itself behind it so i basically rendered a straight on shot of the wall and then i cropped it out i brought that into premiere and i drug that into my sequence first to kind of establish the starting um dimensions of the video, right? So the, the 
length and the or the height and the width was established by this cropped image right so I drag that in first that's just a still image and then on top of that I place the waterfall effect which let me shut these off here okay so this is also changed from um, normal to you can either go lighten or screen I think I did screen because it was just a little bit brighter so I changed the blend mode to screen and basically made a copy of that moved it above it and I adjusted the position here to kind of slide it over into place that's also just set to screen um, this one as well slid that into place I think with this one I adjusted the width here turned off uniform scale so I basically just made it as many copies as I needed to fill the whole length of that wall space itself and you know because my original thinking was well maybe I can use this as the animated texture and I'll just map this to the wall then you have the wall stone behind it you have the water coming down it just it looked okay it just didn't have the depth that I wanted um, it kind of looked too fake but not that the end result now looks that great anyway but I don't know this is what I, I came up with basically um, I also did a brightness and contrast see the difference there so I did that on every one of those to just kind of brighten it up a little bit and then like I said I rendered out two or I think three different versions of this because I also had um, the wall behind it with night lighting so I had a had one of those imported in as well um, Is this one so there's another version that I did with kind of the night lighting on the wall behind it as well um, I ended up not using the one with the wall behind it um, pretty much because I knew I was going to have to mask out the fire anyway so I just did it with the black background if I didn't have fire in the scene I might have just gone with this for time's sake and just map that to the wall um, to give that illusion that I was going for but um, so basically for the fire I grabbed I, uh, that waterfall clip I'm pretty sure came from uh what is it called digital let me just double check here video hive yeah video hive it was water splash pack four and i think it was o3 was the the name right here so this is oh that was the water yeah so that's what that looked like and then I just made enough copies that, you know, it's not the greatest. I could probably find something a little bit better, especially since it's a sheer descent. It's not supposed to be this, there's that much turbulence in it. It should be a lot more just kind of smooth, almost glass-like as it's coming down. But uh, this does the, does the trick. So for the fire, I got that from uh, Mitch Martinez's website here. Uh, if you search Mitch Martinez 4K fire footage, these are all free. Um, I grabbed those. I think I took them into Handbrake and re-encoded them um, and dropped, the, dropped them down to keep the file size a little bit smaller because I think with uh, either 25 megabytes, maybe 50 megabytes is the limit to get into D5 of an animated texture. So I had to get it down below that. But anyway, then I brought the optimized version here into Premiere 
And I did the same thing as with, with the water. I just put them in here, stack them on top of each other, change the blend mode to screen, and then adjusted the position. So I'd create kind of a little more uh, linear version and so it wasn't so repetitive and you know I could make this even longer if I wanted I just made this now I didn't actually make this with that clip and you can tell um, I should have maybe I'll redo this but you can see how uh, repetitive it is or it's almost tiling right it's almost like a tileable texture where you can see that it's repeating over and over so there's a couple ways I could have remedied that in SketchUp I could have adjusted the mapping on each one of these and you know that way when I did plug in or I could have made these unique um, and basically just taken the material changed it here give it in a new name and then done like four or five different versions of the same material so that I could have adjusted the position over in D5 um, so it wasn't so repetitive but for this example it works um, just so you know that's probably what you would want to do is just to make sure that that looks a little better and I think this this would work this kind of gives that That nice illusion there but anyway i'm gonna leave it here i hope that's um helpful and until next time have a good one